Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast in a game between Grubby versus Speed here in the Zelnaga Caverns. Now, Grubby spawning as the green Protoss player on the top right hand side of the map, and Speed, his name sounds familiar to me from Warcraft 3, but I didn't take the time and energy to look it up. But this is a best, I'm not actually sure if what this series is a best of. I'll go ahead and just cast all the games, and as I figure it out, I'll let you know. Speed spawning as the yellow Zerg on the bottom right hand side of the map. So Grubby versus Speed in the Zelnaga Caverns. And this is going to be a Protoss versus Zerg. I know a lot of you guys out there were like, hey, can we get some Protoss games? Hey, can we get some Zerg games? Well, here you go. Protoss versus Zerg here in the Zelnaga Caverns. As you now see a probe slowly making its way out across the map. Not going to activate the Zelnaga Watchtower as a pylon being placed down here. A little interesting on Grubby's positioning, opting to use um, the front door with the pylon instead of doing the typical gateway cybernetics core for the wall off. I'm not sure whether or not this will really come into play, but it is interesting to note that Grubby didn't do the typical wall off um, here in the Zelnaga Caverns. Perhaps there is a reason. As we now see Speed going into, we're not quite sure what those other drones did for just a moment, as Speed now going into a pool first here in the Zelnaga Caverns. Now this build is a typically a very, very safe build. It allows you to get Zerglings early. You don't lose that much production as you get your queen a little bit earlier. And then if you are very careful, you can train up four Zerglings and a queen. Um, make sure that the probe is not able to do any shenanigans down over here, say warp in a pylon. And then I'm able to build up your second hatchery and then you can train up two queens back to back right after for a pretty strong opening. We are going to have a gateway now warping in here. It looks like a cybernetic score will be warped in here instead. And then you will have one zealot positioned off right here. Um, if I ever meet Grubby or I will have to ask him why he decides to wall off like this. Um, let's see if he does it in the, in the remainder of the games as we now see a cybernetic score following up. Grubby now making his way around with this one particular probe, continuing to mine once more. We'll see if he does go for a second assimilator or not. You can see a hatchery going to be placed down over here. The queen is being trained, but it looks like the Zergians are, are just a little bit late to the party. Zerglings now try finally trying to make their way in. Only two Zerglings as a typical four. As Speed now was able to set up this hatchery, the Zerglings going to try to chase down the probe. The probe may be able to get two shields before it gets attacked again. But after that, oh, is it going to... Yes, two shields? No, three shields. Wow, it is going to definitely survive as it is gets back up to five shields. Every time the Zergling tries to um, shut it down once more, the shields will start to naturally regenerate. Will the Zergling get that final hit off? Let's see. It looks like it just needs one more hit. Will it be enough? And yes, it is able to. I forgot it is one Zergling being chased as opposed to two. And oh, the Zerglings are speed. Going to be able to run by into the base. And that was a critical, critical mistake by Grubby. Now... Uh, speed gonna be able to pretty much see everything he wants to see on the inside of the space he knows that there is not a second gas he knows that a sim that a nexus most likely will be coming in as well but grubby being very smart he didn't reveal any of his other tech right there as now a nexus will be warping in by grubby there is an overlord hiding off to the north that overlord should position itself over here in just a moment and try to see if mining is taking place. Hatchery about to be completed. You can see a spine crawler now being added on the front door. Speed just very cautious right now. He didn't see the Nexus go down. He didn't see those gateways. Um, and, and he wasn't sure if Grubby was going to throw down three gateways without, with those additional minerals and then perhaps do a push or if he was going to do something else. And oh, in comes the Stalker, though. The Stalker now going to try to come up that ramp. We'll see what will be happening. A Queen and a spine crawler that is currently off creep. What is going to be happening here as the Queen now tries to run away? Zerglings are now coming in to engage. This Queen is a very, very, very expensive unit. You do not want to lose it. It looks like the Zerglings will be able to shoo off the Stalker. And with that spine crawler now in position, this Zealot is not long for life as it does get taken down. Zergling still trying to chase down Grubby's one lone stalker the stalker however moving at the same movement speed as a zergling so as long as it doesn't get greedy and try to turn around and fire it will be fine you can see that the stalker is just slowly slowly i guess stalking away grubby now setting up an additional two barrack or sorry of a, of a gateway and a forge a, f a gateway always looks like a forge until you actually click on it one of the one of the difficulties of um, protoss buildings and zerg buildings altogether. Forge has now been completed. Gateway about to be completed as well. 
now Grubby going into the very macro style of game. Gonna be getting into sentries. And now Grubby has two options. He can either go for the typical option, robotics facility, get an observer, get some colossi out, and then really utilize the energy on these sentries. Or he could try to go into air. Air not as effective at this point in the game unless he really wants to try to get some harassment and then be able to macro up behind his air. We'll see what he does next as speed now power droning his way into the game, into the mid game, currently training up nine drones at a time. So speed will have a very, very strong two base economy. Unfortunately for him, so does Grubby. And that means that the Zerg player speed needs to establish another expansion. And sometime soon, either by taking out these destructible rocks or placing a hatchery down here and taking out these rocks. You can see that speed was of, um, currently still supply blocked at 52 over 52. Being very smart, uh, building some spine crawlers um, and infestation pits in order to free up some of that food and also those evolution chambers. So um, very, very nice utilization speed, wanting to get some food cap um, maneuverability and was able to do so. He also does have a little bit of base defense. These two additional spine crawlers will be able to fend off any attack as Grubby now running soon off of four gateways and four gateways and also getting another pylon and assimilator back over here. So no Zerglings will be able to run in along that backside at all. Zergling is now looking for um, a very uh, looking for to make sure that there are there is nothing down happening over here as the Zerglings are, will be able to peck apart these rocks. Speed. Um, looking very comfortable right now. He's playing, or they both decided to play a very macro style of game. There is going to be a lot of large battles now as we are now at the 10 minute mark. And still, no one with a really large army as of yet. You can see a hallucination coming in, but the hallucination not dealing any damage as hallucinations don't deal any damage. Grubby, also a little bit cute with a hallucination, is sneaking in a Colossi here. So that Colossus is just sitting there. It will soon, soon dissipate or will just go poof. Yep, there it goes. It does go poof as we also have an infestation pit and the pathogen glands have been completed. Destructible rocks have been destroyed. This set of rocks now going down as well. Grubby already looking to establish his third base as well as both sides really comfortable right now. And they don't see a need to really do anything, any sort of uh, any sort of engagement. They don't they don't feel the need to um, right now fight. They want to get up into a very comfortable army and then hoping that their macro is superior to your opponent's macro. Now, if you are not very comfortable macroing as a player, you generally want smaller fights, um, smaller fights, smaller engagements, more harassment tactics. It looks like both of these players want really, really just um, large, large fights as stalkers are now pushing in. And look, the Zergings will be able to try to do a decent surround there. A lot of force fields coming in though. And Grubby getting a little bit caught out of position, but the power of sentries essentially making a position for themselves with those force fields, limiting the surface area, and those Zerglings were forced to back off. Infestors now um, being brought into play as well. A group of five Infestors off over here. The Infestors are moving very, very steadily, but slowly. They do have, what, level one armor upgrades um, on them as well, so they will not be able to get shut down nearly as quickly by those Zealots or those Stalkers, but the Stalkers also have level one weapons upgrade to counter it. Hatchery will be placed down on the center port or at the center gold mine mineral location now. We'll see what Grubby's gonna do. This is a really strange positioning by Grubby. Grubby has these gateways. He can upgrade them to warp gates, but the problem's gonna be that roaches from the high ground can attack these gateways. And I well actually with one photon cannon here, I believe that photon cannon will in fact be close enough. Um, to fight back, but we'll see whether or not a roach from here can actually destroy this photon cannon. Roaches along here can destroy this gateway and this pylon and take down that back wall. Speed still doesn't know about that third base at all. Grubby pretty much doesn't know about the third base either. And really both players just very comfortable macroing up. So no, no battles, no, no battles yet, no harassment as of yet. Both players just sitting back and relaxing a little as the phoenix just going to do another flyby get in a little bit of more of scouting information no tech to tier three at all we are going into neuroparasite though so yeah the neuroparasite research will has now been started and now we'll see whether or not he will be able to take control of any colossi or any massive units 
like these Archons, very, very important as Neuroparasite now does, or in this particular patch still works on massive units like Archons, Colossi, and Carriers. We are going to see these Infestors now slowly pushing their way in. There is one Phoenix. The Phoenix does not spot this at all. The Phoenix getting a little bit of, no, just a little bit of a pew pew on the Overlord, but the Overlord pretty much going yeah i'm absolutely fine there is one photon cannon on the low ground here and more photon cannons coming in he has to be very careful he will end up being revealed as the infested terrans are now being spawned straight into the mineral line here it looks like this nexus may get destroyed the nexus um, oh sorry photon cannon already destroyed it looks like the nexus now taking a lot of damage as well archons trying to come in from that high ground but having a very difficult time and now using psi storm but the nexus was destroyed as these infested terrans um, even more powerful than a normal Terran Marine, um, able to deal 9 damage per attack right now with only level 1 weapons upgrade and also have, having the same attack and movement speed. The Archon, a little bit upset. Grubby now, a little bit of trouble as he is behind in bases compared to 4 to three, four to 2 right now. One Nexus now being added. This set of Destructible Rocks needs to get destroyed. Another Hallucination now coming in. Grubby, um, he does have a slightly large... No, he doesn't. He does not have a slightly larger army. He has actually a slightly smaller army right now. So things are definitely not good for him. Grubby needs to do some damage. He needs to do some harassment. Otherwise, this small lead that Speed has will just continue to grow and grow as you see a 25 food difference between these two armies. Phoenix now coming back around. It looks like the Roaches are trying to uh, push out as well. The Roaches, however, constantly being kept track of. The Roaches, if you have this many, might as well get those Tunneling Claws as you would be able to burrow and regenerate them rather quickly. 4,600 um, Mineral Army versus 3,975. Both sides having a fair amount of casters. You can see that there are High, high Templar over here as well. And in comes the Psy Storm. Psy Storm just hitting and destroying a lot of those Infestors. And that was actually a beautiful play by Grubby. I want to go ahead and recap that. So you can see the Archons are over here. And a couple Infestors are just going to get feedback right there. And you can see that, that damage, just how fast it was, how quickly it dealt, and just ate through Speed's army. So now the... The battle is starting to even out just a little bit. Grubby slightly ahead in gas, uh, while his opponent is slightly ahead in minerals, and it still looks to continue that route as we are now getting into the level 3 weapons upgrade. Those Archons going to be able to deal, what, 47 damage per attack as the Zerglings now simply try to do a run by. There are some Zealots up on the high ground. A Zealot going to get ended up, going to get quickly surrounded, though. More Zealots coming to the aid. And it looks like these, this Zergling harassment will get handled. Meanwhile, in the center portion of the battle here, an Archon now trying to engage. There is one Colossus, a um, Hallucinated Colossi. And oh, the Hallucinated Colossi walks through Force Field. If you did not know that, um, that's probably... That's, that's got to be a little bit of a... That's got to be a little bit of a, a telltale sign. That it is in fact a hallucination as opposed to and being stuck behind it or without destroying it. Not quite sure how it, which it should work. Anyways, Archon's now pushing their way in. And this is going to be a very, very difficult battle. These Infestors are off over here. Infested Terran now keeping track of this. There is one Archon. Is he going to use a Neuroparasite? No, he realizes that that is not it. As the Force Field is now coming in. Fungal growth, feedback, Psy Storm coming across the board. Archon's now trying to push their way in. That Archon is very low on hit points. One more shot will do it. Another feedback, Grubby. Just getting into proper position once more, Psy storming and raining on Speed's parade right now of roaches. All of these roaches so, so low on hit points as they are going to be forced to burrow and regenerate. You can see Speed now regenerating all of his roaches back in. 22 more roaches being added and then mass spine crawlers going to be added as well. Only problem about spine crawlers are they are biological units, so they do take additional damage from these Archons. Archons also slowly regenerating their shields as well. So one of the benefits of Archons is even though they are kind of squishy after those shields, there are just so much shields that you can micro them like grunts in Warcraft 3, which is one of the reasons why I think Grubby likes those Archons. Size Storm once again not dealing too much damage there. And it now a yin yang across the middle of the map. Roaches pushing in across the center. Stalker's now trying to come in to engage. This Nexus will get destroyed. The Speed will be able to snipe down another Nexus here. This Nexus does go down, but Speed is going to lose this hatchery down over here. This is maybe a problem as more units need to make their way over. Infestors will be making their way over. Perhaps some Roaches getting in some damage as well. Come Some Fungal Growths could be key in saving this one very low hip, hip point hatchery. 
but it doesn't look like the hatchery will be saved at all so down it goes at the cost of four zealots but right now those bases are definitely definitely much more important than the cost of four zealots long distance mining coming across the map from grubby right now you can see immortals high templars just a very damaging um, just protoss ball coming to engage massive spine crawlers over here zealots going to get picked apart immortals now going to try to walk up the ramp will they be able to is the key question roach is now trying to push in and now size storm being rained on once again grubby pushing in there are some brood lords being added as feedback um, onto a queen as well so trying trying to get as massive feedback as possible broodlords now coming in and raining straight down on grubby grubby does not have that many stalkers in this group so the roaches really need to um, try to stay alive as the, as what those um, size storm now going to continue to hit over here speed is doing a lot of damage those archons do have a range of four a, a fair amount of range as all the archons are now shutting them down as well one archon off a little bit too far grubby does have a decent amount of immortals but those immortals are absolutely useless against all of these brood lords stalkers now trying to run away trying to get back up onto that high ground as Grubby is now forced to get a force field down. Going to take down both the Infestation Pit and the Greater Spire. All of the critical buildings have been destroyed. Now Speed in trouble. Going to lose perhaps one or two of his Brood Lords. Those Brood Lords moving around so very slowly. As another Infestor gets off a of Fungal Growth. And the Fungal Growth will eliminate many of the shields here. Another Brood Lord has been destroyed. But Speed, it will be another at least 200 seconds before or 300 seconds before we see another uh, broodlord be trained so that is going to be a definite issue as those broodlords at what 200 200 build time for aspire 200 build time to upgrade and then the actual time it takes to a uh, morph in a broodlord getting those corruptors that is going to be very difficult the protoss army of grubby still sitting very very um, very favorably and there is a lot of high templar here this may be a bit of a problem feedback hitting all of these infestors and speed um, not speed trying to go for that same trick one more time really not working out all too well for him grubby does have these archons archons are gonna shut down all of these infested terrans here it looks like the nexus will stay alive there is still four infestors off over here as drones now doing some long distance mining from the from this hatchery here well, so it's still a very close game a very very macro intensive game but grubby with so many so much money in the bank and now finally teching in the Colossi. I, that may be it for Speed. Speed does not have a Spire. I spoke too soon. Speed now getting his Spire once more. Now, Speed now getting his Spire once more will be able to get Corruptors. Infestors already have Neuroparasite and Pathogen Glands. So they will also be able to come into the game and being able to fungal growth and Neuroparasite as well. But will it matter? Grubby now um, coming in to engage. It looks like Roaches. A lot of damage to be dealt here and now speed absorbing a lot of that size storm once more these archons have to be very very careful perhaps shield upgrades need to be added as well as grubbies um, archons are rather weak um, even though it is 350 shields there is no damage reduction on those shields right now so I believe it takes a full 22 or 20 damage from those roaches a full 25 from those spine crawlers and you can see how quickly that damage is dealt colossi now coming in Perhaps going to try to um, destroy this one set of spine crawlers here. It looks like um, Grubby is pushing in very hard. Roaches are being forced to pull back. There is a lot of spine crawlers, a lot of size storm. And now this hatchery has fallen. Roach is now trying to push in once again. Archon being neuroparasited. So that one Archon going after an immortal. Not much is going to happen except for one dead. Dead infester as now Grubby sitting on four colossi. A couple of mortals and two Archons just too powerful to stop right now i think the only thing that could really destroy this would be a mass mutilist army as those mutilists um, take reduced damage from those stalkers but those stalkers are also a fully upgraded as well infestor trying to run away will he be able to escape no he runs straight into a startup a stalker's particle disruptor and that is no good at all and now we see burrowing on all of these drones here it looks like there is an observer nearby all of speed's drones will get destroyed and now Infestor is constantly getting destroyed once again, trying to get more size from him, but there is the GG by Speed. And Speed losing game one in this series to Grubby. Stay tuned for game two.